And welcome to Cruise 5. Our guest today is a lady most Malawians know because of her famous worship medleys. She's a popular Nigerian gospel artist, Agatha Moses. Welcome to Malawi. Thank you. Very I much. hope you're enjoying your stay so far. Yeah, it's part uh, of my place. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what language you speak in Nigeria. What's your uh, local language? My local language is Igbo language. Igbo? Yeah. How do you say welcome in Igbo? No. No. Yeah. How do I say <laughs> welcome to Malawi in Igbo? Okay, it's the same no. Uh huh. Yeah, welcome no. 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 But I want to say it completely. Welcome to Malawi in Igbo. How can I say it in Igbo? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you feel really, really <laughs> welcome to Malawi. But anyway, no. I think that does yeah, it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so welcome, welcome to Malawi. More, yeah. And uh, we just wanted to know more about you. Uh, we know about your music. Uh, we listen to it a lot in Malawi. But we don't know who Agatha Moses is. Because popular here, uh, we, we just call you Agatha Moses. But now I know you're evangelist Agatha Moses yes. Philip. So I understand that you come from a new good state. Is that where you were born? Anyway, I born in Anambra State, married to a new good state. So okay. uh, I'm bearing there. In, in Anambra? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, tell me how many were born in your family? We are eight in number. Eight? Yeah. My goodness, that's quite a large number. <laughs> 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 and you being the first born? I've been the sixth born. The sixth born? Yeah. How many of you are still are around? Eight, uh, eight, eight? Seven is alive now. One okay. is late. All right. Tell me how you grew up. What were your parents doing, your father and your mother? Anyway, my dad, my dad is a singer. Okay. Um, by old days. Okay. So, he's a, he's a businessman. Okay. With my mom. All right. So, that's the lineage, the, the inspiration come by I should go into singing ministry so by the grace of god i started it's not easy yes yeah so was your father recording music or he was just singing no he just singing or? okay that is you know is in the first i just call it singing in the choir he didn't record any he didn't enter into studio to record or yes. being a musician mm -hmm. so some of that nature so that was the started so you grew up in anambra yes mm -hmm. I went to school in Anambra, everything. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what you were doing growing up. What was life like, um, considering that your parents were doing businesses? Were you involved in some of the businesses that your parents were doing? Yes, or? I'm involved in the business. Then, as time goes on, we... In, in short, when I, uh, I received Christ, mm -hmm. before I was small then, before I entered into choir, mm -hmm. you know, from that choir. So when the uh, maybe knowledge came, people are, you know, even one of what we visit, say, I see you singing, I see your poster all over. I didn't believe it because, you know, someone that grow up, I'm the sixth child, you know, to train other ones, that big one that I had before me is hard. So how can I start doing the music, uh, this thing? Mm -hmm. So I didn't believe it. So as time goes on, by the grace of God, God make a name for himself. That's what I would put. I mean, I, when I, call, I I get up, so I have to come to meet my sister, my elder sister, at Abuja. So is where we stay, start doing the first song. Mm -hmm. It didn't sell. I did second one. The same thing. I did the third one. No way. So people started discouraging me. <coughs> they are lying, you know. So, but within me, I know that God called me into singing. So before I start making effort in the fourth one. So, when Jesus met Peter, mm -hmm. when they are catching fish in the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, they stayed there the whole night, mm -hmm. you know. 
no fish. Yes. So when uh, Jesus made them, say, what are you people doing? He said, Master, since night you are doing this thing, nothing. I say, in my word, put. So in the word of God, I go into this. You know, the song that I say, my name is Cross. It's ordinary song that I sing in the church, mm -hmm. if you can believe. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, by the grace of God, we enter from Abuja to East, where our record is very far. It's by road, it's almost seven hours, eight mm -hmm. hours. But I do travel, go down, record, doing, before I know it, by the grace of God, the music pick up and start selling. Fantastic. So, that's how I got it. It's, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy at all. I can imagine it was not mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. The way you're telling your story, you say you gave your life to Christ. Which yes. one came first, the singing or giving your life I to Christ? I gave my life to Christ before the singing. So I, what I said now is, I gave my life to Christ. After that, I'm in the choir. That's why everywhere I visit, even women, uh, women program or youth program, I used to tell them that you have to find yourself somewhere to work for God. So I gave my life to Christ. After that, I started singing in the choir. From that choir administration, you know, people find out that this, this lady can sing very well yeah. as then. So when I, I come out and minister, my own will be different in a way. So I have my, like, they call me Wazobia. Like, when you come to Nigeria, Wazo is from, Wa, Wa is Yoruba. Mm -hmm. Zo is Aosa, then Bia is Igbo. So this three language, they know it in Nigeria. That is the, the, the most, uh, that is the main uh, language we speak. Aosa, Yoruba, Igbo. Igbo, yes. So this three language, that what they know me as that was the Bia sister. Because you could there. sing in all the three languages. Yeah, I sing the, all the three languages. And if you watch my music, I miss the music up. Yeah. Even this henchmen are going, they dance my music. Other tribe in the country, the whole world, they dance my music. So it's not just God bring the inspiration. I just enter because I have do almost three hours. Uh, the music didn't move anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me just go in this direction. By the grace of God, I did it. By the grace of God, the music pick up and start selling. Though it's not easy, even the challenges, mm -hmm. the marketers eating the money, all these things. Wahala everywhere, uh, uh, so <laughs> but thank God for this story everywhere. That's everywhere. what happens. Yeah. So it's life is easy all about it. challenges. Yeah. Yes. So tell me about the kind of music you grew up listening to, because uh, elsewhere people will start off listening to maybe secular music. They listen to all these artists, and then they grow a passion to listening to maybe. No, if Christian I music. if I'm into secular music, I will not go into Christian music. Mm -hmm. Understand me? Yes. I'm into Christian music. I never go one day for secular. Mm -hmm. Understand me. I know somebody that grew up singing in the choir. I was small then. Before they said you can we can sing that kind of thing. I have it and I have. I say God, if you are the one that call me into this line, prove yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got myself into singing. Fantastic. Let's listen to our first song in Cruise Five. <music>
said you went to school in Anambra State. Yeah. Tell me what kind of education you went through. How far did you go with your education? I went to school after that. I went to primary school. Mm -hmm. Then I went to secondary school. When I come to Abuja, and I enter into computer uh, science. Okay. So I did that computer. I finished it. So I couldn't go far in education like that before I enter into singing. So would you say the music is what affected you from going further with your education? No, the thing that affected me, I tell you that I'm a cis child of my, I'm a cis child, that's cis. Mm -hmm. So to train other one before me, not easy with my parents like that. Because you're the sixth child. Carry me, yes. yeah. I'm the one that's not the, our last one. So to go into education like that. So did you do any work after you did your studies or when you got into music that's all that uh, occupied your time? <laughs> anyway, I cannot say I didn't go any, into any work or something like nature. I just mean I want to do this song. But yeah. uh, that time with my sister, they never support me. I say I want to do it. So before they started putting interest, I didn't do any job or any other thing apart from this. Music. Even now, mm -hmm. I never do any business apart from this singing ministry. So it's just music. Yeah, that's it's music. always been music for yeah. you. In Malawi, if a young girl starts showing interest in music mm. and she's getting really into the music and recording, some parents feel a bit uneasy because they think, this is not a field that you must go into. Mm -hmm. And they want you to, you know, go to school, get a job, and, and, and all that. But they say, they say, no, you shouldn't go into music. I don't know. What did your parents feel like when you started showing interest in music? They're did they friend, support you? They, they support me. My mother support me. Mm -hmm. Though by then my father is late. Okay. My mother support me to the... Uh, everywhere he said I should go into it yes. because all of us in uh, the same church and they see how the knowledge of that is when you are in church now one man of God visited you can even point it out say this lady I see you going every, you know that kind of the thing we just encourage the my encourage my mother very so far say you should go on so he supports me even when to borrow money or when to do the connection you know how he will help me then because the first album I did before I do the launching it's not easy. We brought someone to do the launching so that mm -hmm. people will come, you know, those days. Because at the end of the day, we realize the money, give them back. So if your mother didn't support you, mm -hmm. maybe you are back. But when you, know, you are a man, when you born a child, you know the kind of child you were born. It may be, maybe there are four or three in number. Say, this, was, this one can do this. This one can do. My mother knows what I can do. That's why he support me by then. I now, by the grace of God, I follow it up. How about your other siblings, your sisters and brothers? Did they support you or they were like, no, sister, you shouldn't be doing this? <laughs> they support me as their power as you know. Mm -hmm. They support me. Mm -hmm. You know, we Africa, when you are not, maybe you are not uh, getting money, maybe somebody to support you, maybe from outside to make, to make money, when you are maybe within, yeah. uh -huh, none of them can, but they support as their power rich by then, even as of now. And I know that you finally became a popular musician in Nigeria and uh, obviously you've got a large following in other African countries, including here in Malawi. Mm -hmm. But tell me or, or uh, thrill me with your thoughts when you were growing up as a little girl mm -hmm. in Anambra. What did you want to become when you grow up? What did you always want to become? You know, as like you and I, if maybe your parents is maybe they are graduates and they are working. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. They brought you up. Yes. You would like to go into that area your parents go now. Exactly. But for me, it's a business now, as my mom and my father is a business. <laughs> so you're like, I want to, I want to do business as <laughs> well. Hey, now, that's business I want to do too. Before <laughs> I now got the help to start with it. But within me, I know that God called me. Yes. Uh, but when you are singing, it's not that, like I'm in Cameroon, uh, is it two weeks ago? I went to Cameroon. After, I went to Zambia. Okay. When my, me and my husband went to Zambia, yeah. this is a month now. After, when I come back, the next day, I travel to Cameroon. Wow. So when I was in, I, we were having a music concert there. Mm -hmm. So when I, I was ministering, one guy came from Abidjan, mm -hmm. then two of us came from Nigeria. This is Steve Kran I mentioned now. Yes. His music is selling, all of us got to, So 
that guy from Abidjan, her minister, all of them have minister in Douala. When I get up to sing there, uh, the reason why I bring these stories, maybe I'm not talking because it's me. Mm -hmm. The announcing show the difference. Mm -hmm. So when I get up, they call me, Agatha, we call my minister. But when I get up, the, I just singing, um, oh Lord, thank you. We say thank you. When I get to, Jesus power, super power. Super power. Yes, yes. Jesus power. So when I read that song, the uh, the the DA of uh, uh, the governor of that Douala, mm -hmm. he gets up from nowhere. Twenty policemen gather the stage. They scatter everything. I saying uh, that will start this and ladies that are disturbing them. So when <laughs> I I rush down to the stage, so when they were saying because of. When I mention that name, yes, <laughs> it's awesome. So the the, the anointing on that song disturbed them where they are. Even the governor himself didn't support them. He came to apologize to me, that Dwala and that um, room. He came that night and said, "Please, that they are sorry for what they are, his did or did his powers. That 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 name I mentioned, I, that's the only thing that make them to scatter, uh, start doing somehow. Mm -hmm. So when I'm saying by your song." The this thing is is not matter of maybe money, but the life that the song affects, the the good the, the the good news and the word of God you spread by the song you are singing, not to maybe just singing you want to sing. Mm -hmm. Only thing is that the anointing that follow that song, the life you have affected. So that is the only thing about my music. Wow. So that that night, I tell you, there's no problem. I know because before I go to that stage, I pray, say God, I don't want anything going to be if not that prayer and I start singing before I went there because everybody as you are now mm -hmm. you guys say where well, God give you his own destiny you know how you talk with God if you are a child of God how you, you connect with God so I know how I connect with, I go with songs worship song that before I uh, climb that stage so that show me that I just started I, I laughing because I know that will not do me anything only to maybe people that gather to the dance to celebrate with me all of them were yeah. scared you know that kind mm -hmm. of a thing but thank God that I have felt life. That power I mentioned may be sports on things in, in, in their kingdom. So that is the only thing. Welcome back. This is Cruise 5. And today we are talking to evangelist Agatha Moses Philip, all the way from Enugu State in Nigeria, originally born in Anambra State. And uh, she is a very famous uh, musician in Nigeria. And most of you will also know her because of the medleys that she has done. Nigeria Praise 1, Nigeria Praise 2. But she says before you knew about that music, she had been doing a lot of music, but only that it never went very far. But now, here she is. She is quite a very popular um, artist. But we know you. We just knew you as Sister Agatha <laughs> Moses. But now you are Evangelist Agatha Moses. Tell me how you turned to evangelism. Because obviously the music came first, right? And then you became an evangelist. How yeah. did it happen? Okay, the evangelist came through music because when you are a, a, a gospel artist and you are ministering mm -hmm. a song, so gay song is word. Like the one I sang, leave it for God, don't worry yourself, leave it for God, don't cry anymore. Jesus is alive. Praise God, you can face tomorrow. He understands what you are passing through today. Let him defend his name. Somebody listen to it, you know, like some testimony are coming. Many people have five broad. Many people have many challenges of life. When they listen to the music, they are calling me, they are calling, you know, saying that the, the music touched their life. It's part of evangelism. Right. When you are singing, then mm -hmm. you, you try to sing if someone listens to you. There are some musicians we have now. They're not trying to sing anything that can affect life just to make money they want. But I'm not trying to please myself, but I don't try to tell you that the reason why I'm evangelist is that I, I minister the word of God through songs. That's why I'm evangelist. So do you also preach or you just preach through music? I preach through music, but okay. they called me like now. I sponsor crusade to they call me to evangelist i can sponsor crusade gather it call people they gather we we'll just praise god together we we'll preach the gospel everybody will go that is part of my calling some artists 
will start their music career and mm. then eventually it will fade. They just disappear. What has made you stick to the music career and now you are growing, you are now an evangelist and you're evangelizing through your music. What has made you hang on to that? I, I can say uh, it's grace of God one. I can say that before I enter into, it depends you and your God, the covenant between you and your God, what you want to do. Because, you know, as I interview me, not in this life. Mm -hmm. What God will ask you that very day, what and what do you do for me? It's not a matter of maybe you enter this life, you just, God bless you with children, bless you with wife, bless you with everything in life. In the end of the day, you are going to leave all of them and go. So, for me, I will say it's grace of God. I want to stay to work for God. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I know I can say about that one. Like, I want to work for God, and God gave me grace to work in for. That's why, since yesterday we left Nigeria, Abuja, we arrived here, we sleep at uh, um, Ethiopia, before we can be able to come here this month. Not every artist will maybe say, let me start going do it, maybe... Uh, uh, if I'm not preaching the gospel, at least this one, if you cannot get me that is it. So we are suffer on the road, we are very stressful, but we have to be here for the evangelism. If not that God called me to be in the evangelism work, I will not be here mm -hmm. in, a, in a way. So that is all it. I can say about that. Your music is enjoyed by a lot of people beyond Nigeria. You go to a country like Malawi and you sing your song and you see people joining you. You go, to, you go to Ghana, you go to all these places that we're talking about. How does it make you feel when you go to these places that you never thought people know your music and then you see that they actually follow your music? How does it make you feel as an artist? I feel excited like we are in Central Africa. Me and my husband I went to Central three years ago when we went there. They studied in Central Africa two days. We, the man that invited us didn't charge one naira. People feel, even if you carry machines, People feel up. I was very, very happy because they want to come and uh, dance with me, celebrate with me, you know. They want to come and share with me. They want to just celebrate the grace of God in my life. That is, I would just say it's grace, the grace of God, nothing more. Mm -hmm. Because whatever we are in this life is by the grace of God. I don't know if it's just the music that I have seen, but all the music I see uh, that comes from you are just medleys. They are like really long uh, versions of, of the music. Is that the only kind of music that you do or you also do other shorter songs like the regular songs that we know from the other artists? No, I did. It's only praises because, you know, in this music of it, some people are called by their worshippers. Mm -hmm. Some are called by praising God, while some are called by reggae or another nature. But me, I praise God. When I maybe... It's not that I'm making more. When I enter now, every way is cold. And that maybe in the short, if I come there, I would like that place to be hot. Everybody must dance. Whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. you must dance. So that is the pattern of my own music. So the music that you sing, of course, some of it is in um, a bit of English, but most of it is in many Nigerian languages, mm, yes. Ibo, Hausa, yes. uh, and Yoruba, as you say. Yes. What kind of music is it? Is it music that you compose yourself, or it's popular choruses that are sung in like Nigeria? Like that's a, a, oh Lord, thank you. We say thank you. Emotion ready, man. We say thank you. Then I use my hand and compose. Yoruba are saying, oh, she, eh, she. Ibo are saying, Email that is, I was just saying, Sanu, many of them, I just put it there. Or what they are calling God, like this, uh, yeah, uh, Malawi now. Mm -hmm. What is thank you here? Zikomo. Zikomo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Malawi, I say in Zikomo, mm -hmm. he put it there. Ah. That, so that is thank you. Mm. I see, <laughs> quite clever. <laughs> <laughs> How far back did you start singing? Which years did you? Start, of course, you say you, before your career picked up, you had already mm. started recording. But how far back in terms of years are we talking about? Mm, I would say that in 2005, 2007. Yes, because yeah. I think that's around the same time yeah. that Nigerian Praise Nigerian One got really, really yeah. popular. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as time goes, you see that uh, musical tastes are changing and people are beginning to like 
other types of music, maybe modern music and things like that, isn't that affecting the kind of music that you do? Or you still stick even if to I your enter own studio, type of music? Even if I, I want to do another music now, I will go the same line because everybody have to go in the line God called you. Because I don't move for anything. Even if maybe this kind of rapping, some people will sing this one will be rapping or this one feature this one. Yeah. It's not my line. I will not go that side. Some new artists now can go that side. They can say that this thing. But even if I enter studio now, I want to do another album like the music I want to do now is yeah. I got to this in French. Yeah. So I will use French and do some song. Now I want to enter so that we are writing them now. Mm -hmm. So I will never go maybe going to maybe rapping. I know that I cannot make it. So I will just go that line. Not this one do, let me do. No. Mm -hmm. It's not just go to inspiration God give you. New down on your new and pray. God give me inspiration, then you go on that way. That's our guest today in Cruise Five. Agatha Moses, evangelist Agatha Moses Philip, all there from Nigeria, telling us about her musical journey. And I think it's time that we took a break and listened to our third song. Um, what's our third song going to be? You sang the song from the from uh, Nigeria Praise One. And that was a very, very popular song. Oh, mm. how does it go? Oh, Lord, thank you. Um, oh, Lord, thank you. We say thank you. Inoto? You have seen this all now. Inoto Redima. <laughs> How do you say that? Emota. Emota Redima. Emota Redima. We say thank you. Emota Redima. We say, say thank, thank you. you. Oh Lord, thank you. We, we say thank you. Emota Redima. We, we say thank you. What is your name? Joab. Joy, I say thank you. Uh -huh. Joy, I say thank you. Agatha, I say thank you. Malawi as I say in Zikomo. Oh, yes. Malawi as I say in Zikomo. Oh, yeah. Bishop Abraham as I say in thank you. So. Yes. Fantastic. All right. I will join you uh, on your crusade so that I can also join you on stage. <laughs> 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 Let's take a quick break uh, as we listen to the next song. You're watching Cruise 5, and today we're talking to evangelist Agatha Moses Philip a Nigerian gospel artist telling us more about her life, her career, and of course, her passion in music. I know that there might be some unique challenges that you face as a musician in Nigeria. Tell me what, uh, what it's like. What challenges, what challenges do you face as a gospel artist in Nigeria? Anyway, the challenges we're facing now is a MP3. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because some people will download the music as much as like maybe the famous uh, gospel artists or maybe circle artists in this uh, Malawi now. Yes. They had they would do a song. They would download as much as inside. So maybe the CD is not more moving like it's supposed to move. Yes. Understand. So that is one of the challenges I'm facing in Nigeria. And as a female gospel artist, are there mm. any unique challenges that you face that you think? Well, I know these are general problems, but I think our friends, our male counterparts don't necessarily face this. But as the female gospel artist, this seems to be our major problem. The major problem I would say in Nigeria is that, you know, musicians, you know, they use eye to see other musicians. Mm -hmm. That's that. it's, it's, uh, it's common everywhere, even this Malawi, mm -hmm. would be here. So maybe... I beg, let me, I don't want to hear him, no, you know, he cannot sing, he can start doing, talking about that person, maybe in in bad way, understand me, so that's one of the challenges you can face. Mm -hmm. Coming to a female artist, female artists don't use to eye to see other female artists, whether gospel, whether circular, that one is common, whether you pass that person or you didn't pass that person, you would not like to give you, as that person would be feel too big, you know, to talk to international so it's one of the this now I will say because for me if I travel like in a year ten times I do travel with my husband mm -hmm. because of some challenges maybe in like the day I will travel to Zambia in a plane I don't even know that they will attack me that if not they travel with me that day mm -hmm. we are going this Zambia this is Zambia I travel to last month it was awesome. So you have to stand by me. We'll start praying in the aircraft. So by the grace of God, we'll conquer that attack. 
So, you can if you are traveling only you, maybe your female artist is traveling only you. You can meet a lot of things. People can do anything they want to do. Do you? If you're maybe in that line. Mm -hmm. So some artists not used to travel with their somebody, their husband, or maybe somebody with their PA. Because when you travel, you have to make sure you travel with somebody. No matter anything, it happens. Somebody buying your ticket, your etiquette. I'm going to come with social -so personal. If you can be able to do it, you do. If you cannot be able to do it, you leave it. So I part. I travel with him as my uh, manager mm -hmm. in this industry because he's my manager. So that is the only thing I can say. The challenges may be way of going out from environment, travel, international like this. You have to travel with somebody to back you up. When you are a popular artist like yourself, mm -hmm. doesn't it affect you in a way because you are oh, you're quite a famous person? You go to a place and people say, ah, that's Agatha Moses. I've seen her. I've seen her music. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it affect you and how you deal with people in a way? I work on them. Some people even say that say I'm too, you know, I'm too simple. And this nothing is in this life now. The mm. only thing there, life is a small place. You have to be when somebody when you come like in Zambia, in the stadium when we show it, even this uh, this Nigeria uh, uh, actor even come uh, this thing. all of, all of us come out in newspaper in uh, Zambia. This is uh, Mike is running that art film. All of mm -hmm. us come out. They send the, the WhatsApp is there. So. No, no, we just people are very excited. I'm happy that people welcome me. I'm happy that people know about that God is using me. It's mm -hmm. just God, nothing more. Mm -hmm. Whatever you be in this life, just God. Even this bishop, I came to do program for him now. Mm -hmm. In this small now, they know him. This bishop Abraham. Mm -hmm. It's just God make you to be whatever you be in this life. Mm -hmm. That is it. So I've seen some um, some artists across the world, uh, especially musicians. They are now going into the movie industry. They want to feature in one or two movies, isn't, many isn't that them, something? Many of them, many, yes. Is, is that true? something that you're considering? No, no, I'm not going to movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, will not, I, I don't want to go into movies. Many artists, now even Sakula, yeah. even uh, Christian, they're yeah. going to movies. Many, when you watch, you see them, and I see a lot of them. Yeah. And my vision is not to go into a movie. My vision is to only the single minister I want to be. What message would you have for a young girl who is trying very hard to make it in life as a Christian or as a gospel artist, but things are just not working for them. Working for the mm. the that's the initial stage. If you listen to me, I say that some women, when I went for their program, or some youth, because the youth they invite me, yeah. uh, women are invite me, then church used to invite me for the program. What I used to tell them is, they should work for God, hold on to God, something. You know that you can do for God, do it, and that's your time. Anything you want to do, when you when you enter into church like this, or enter into whatever in the organization you find yourself, try your best to do something for God. Despite the challenges, the the, the advice I'm giving them, both youth, both women, both men, is that everybody should try and do something for God, work for God. Try and the advice I'm giving anybody who wants to be maybe a young lady, you want to become a singer, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. you, you, you try your best. Mm -hmm. Don't give up because you never work out for you. Tomorrow you work out because at times God will like to test your faith whether you can stand. Maybe you didn't stand, it can leave you. But if maybe you test your faith, you just say that this is my daughter, is very faithful. Let me give it to him or her. God can do it. But when you try God, maybe you're in, maybe you're in a house, everything, you want it sharp, 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 sharp. Mm -hmm. God is not a sharp, sharp ma a person. He can look, he, he know you. He say, I know you before. In, uh, in uh, Jeremiah said, I know you before you're born. I know yes. the thought I thought for you. Mm -hmm. Thought of peace, not of evil. So when you are in a, a, a God's line and God have, like Job, God tempts him in a way, the end of the day, Job have everything times how many before, uh, before he dies so go and come to you so if in any challenge you find yourself maybe you do the first one it didn't work you do the second one it didn't work keep on trying one day god will see you too thank you fantastic <laughs> you said you came with your husband yes is he here now yeah my husband is here can we can we meet him on this show okay yeah 
He's not, he's not a very shy man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a pastor. He's not a shy man, but he's very simple. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. So let's do this. We'll go to our next song. And when we come back, uh, he will uh, he'll have joined us on this program. So what's our next song going to be? Have you seen what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the work of Satan. He has given me victory. That's why I sing. Oh, say yeah. Have you seen what the Lord has done? Like we said, we have been joined by a gentleman whose name is um, Philip Ngobodo. <laughs> I'm trying very hard to pronounce that correctly. <laughs> Am I doing a good job, Pastor? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Philip Ngobodo. Ngobodo. Are you also from um, uh, Anambra? No, from Enugu State. Enugu. Okay, all right. So welcome, welcome onto the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, sir. Um, so tell me how you two people met anyway it's a longer story yes but however it is going to be yes i'm also into a musical industry okay i play drum sets ah uh, okay so they invited me to come and play in a church okay and then also they invited her okay that is i saw her there yeah after ministering the lord said that this should be your wife. Oh, come I said, on! Yeah. <clears throat> I know it's not easy. <laughs> After she minister finished, I went to her and said, This is what God said. Yes. She said, No, 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 no. She didn't believe you. She didn't believe me. <laughs> but I said, Must. God said that you are my wife. Yeah. Then I started praying. Yeah. As God may have it, finally. Yes. She gave married to me. <laughs> wow. That's great. How far back is that? Which years are we talking it about? It was um, 2000 and. Um, 2004. Okay. 2004. So you've been you've been together since that time. Yeah. Do you people have any children together? We have four children. Two you boys, have four children. Two boys, two girls. Are there more coming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other one is not coming. Ah, she's <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Two boys, two girls. <laughs> Well, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> two girls, two boys, and like oh, there's no no more coming. Mm -hmm. Um. 
So you said you also do music. Did you record any music before you met her, or you were just? Uh, no, I do record any music. I'm just into the you know ministry. Mm -hmm. I just like as I said, I play drum sets. Yeah. So I also sing. Yes. Just like I back on the stage. Yes. So that is the only area I can go. So you actually do perform together sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Have we seen you in any of those music videos that she does? Yeah, I'm there in New World Praise. Oh, really? In the New World Praise, you're there? I was carrying a baby. <laughs> is that your baby that <laughs> you're carrying? It's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, is this your, which one? Your first born, second born, or? Second born. Yes. The second born. That's the one you're carrying in your hands. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic story. Tell me what it's like. Of course, I know you are a musician in your own right, mm -hmm. but tell me what it's like getting married to a popular gospel artist like her sometimes you must be like oh my goodness she doesn't belong to me only she belongs to everybody else and sometimes she's gone performing and uh, maybe you're left behind does that happen often anyway it's not easy yes just like as i said mm -hmm. you know many people we are coming for her in marriage yes both rich and poor. Yeah. But when I saw her, God said that you should pray that this is your wife. Mm. I didn't just go home and, you know, I started sleeping. Mm -hmm. I go home and started praying, asking mm -hmm. God, God, this is my wife. Yes. I keep on praying yeah. until one day God said that the time is due, mm -hmm. that I have to go ahead and marry her. Mm -hmm. And when I approached her, she did not say no. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, if it is the will of God. Let us come together as husband and wife. Wow. That is how we finally get married together. So I understand you okay. travel together quite a lot. Yeah. Which countries have you been to together? I'm sure maybe you also so, travel. So, so, so many. In fact, we have gone to almost uh, 15th African country. 15? We have mm -hmm. been traveling. My goodness. Yeah. My goodness. That is a terrific story. So I understand you are also a pastor. By the grace of God. Tell me how you became a pastor. Anyway, <clears throat> I, when I was born, I didn't uh, become a pastor immediately. Mm -hmm. I was working under a man of God. Yes. And he see the zeal in me. He said that God called you into the ministry. Because I have served the man getting to seven years. Seven years. He said that I will not just go like that, that God called me into the ministry. That he will be the one to ordain me in the ministry. I said, okay, if it is the will of God, because just like as we were asking my wife, mm -hmm. she, she was born, when she was born, she didn't know that one day she would become a, a great singer like this. Yes. Uh -huh. So it just, God started, you know, working in her until finally, one day she saw herself where she is today. So nobody has ordained me as a man of God, but... I know within me that God called me to the ministry. Mm -hmm. And even the man of God that I'm working under, he has been saying that one of those days he will deem me as a pastor. But for now, I have not accepted it yeah. because I want to work under him mm -hmm. to know how to be patient because it's not everybody that is going to become a pastor. Yeah. There are some pastors who cannot be able to endure mm -hmm. the kind of life that the members of the church are living. Yes. So, I'm just under the man of God to nurture myself, to train myself very well, so that when I become a servant of God, I will know how to carry my people along. Mm. So that is the reason why I told him that for now, I wouldn't want anybody to ordain me as a man of God. Now let me just walk for God and know how to suffer, so that when I start my own, I will know how to be patient and to serve God with all my heart. I don't want to rush into the ministry so that I cannot be able to rush out. Because some people will rush into the ministry. Yes. Before you know it, they will rush out. Mm -hmm. That means God has not called you. But when God called you, you must have to be patient in whatever you are doing. Mm -hmm. And suffer. So endure tribulation and whatever. But at the end of it, you will see yourself becoming what God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. That is it. And then eventually you say, okay, now I'm ready. I think I'm going to yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. That is it. They say it's a very stressful life being a pastor and also being an artist at the same time. Um, I'm sure you must face a lot of pressures. 
and you also have to balance do i want to be a pastor now or do i want to be the man on the drums now how do you <laughs> how do you balance that anyway anyone that comes on my work anyone that god <laughs> wants me to do but for now let me just say that god have called both of us into the singing ministry yeah so we'll be doing this one until when the pastoral work we finally come. Mm. So that is it. Do you drink alcohol? No, I don't drink alcohol. Agatha, do you drink alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't drink. You know, some musicians drink. When they drink, enter stage, eh? Yeah. And until I'm not, I'm, no, God bear me witness. My, even my guy is not drinking. Talk less of a woman. I'm not drinking. <laughs> Because you know, sometimes you're like you're stressed out, and you're like, I think let me just drown my my sorrows with a glass. <laughs> no, of... <laughs> you are asking a good question. Anything can, anything who can make me to drown my sorrows. Let's this my handset. Yeah. You put it, put music, maybe worship. Mm -hmm. You listen to it. Maybe if maybe uh, maybe sleepless night, they can sleep off. Mm -hmm. That can bring bring your sorrow. Maybe you're having some challenges. You see that that thing is too much for your head. Mm -hmm. I cannot drink, let me just sleep. No, I can't drink alcohol because I'm they, they not used to it for the first time. I was talking to Pastor Benjamin Dube on this show a couple of uh, months ago, and um, he said his marriage suffered a lot because he is a musician and he is a pastor and then he is a family man. And somehow, when you don't put the order properly, sometimes you put ministry. Uh, and, and God and then family comes last and then your family suffers because you don't have time for each other because every time oh no I've got this show to do oh I am a pastor I need to minister at this event mm -hmm. and then before you know it you people are not together and you're not talking to each other tell me how you manage to navigate through that uh, let me start with you Agatha H how do you handle that in your family Oh, about my children. The pressure, yes, the pressure and, and the being marriage. there for your family. Okay, being there. Yeah. <laughs> we handle it as God may have. We handle it with uh, understanding now. I cannot because of maybe, like, we are coming out and it's not easy now. This journey is journey of two weeks. Mm -hmm. I will just say it's journey of two weeks. Because when the bottom the ticket, I said, I'm not used to stay. Like this weekend now, yeah. we finish the program. I'm supposed to leave on Monday. Mm -hmm. But... Because of this, is my first time to be with this bishop, mm -hmm. he just said it. So let me say, okay, let's just do that favor. Let's just stay and minister for. Not everybody love my music, but the man, the bishop, love my. So this first time, is let me create awareness. Yes. That's why I'm going to stay here. Like Zambia, we travel. We we leave on Thursday or Monday. So Tuesday we are back in Nigeria to meet up my children and all that thing. So this one now I are staying long, but there's well, I cannot go outside because of maybe I want to meet up to get that money, leave my children, I leave my affairs in uh, in Nigeria. Maybe or a month I'm outside. No. Mm -hmm. So when you are doing like we should do it, when we are talking on phone, everything you know how we can do it, can balance up. Mm -hmm. So because of maybe I want to minister. I, I want to, you, you have to have time stable how we are going to handle it because my, my daughter now is 13, 14 years. So if you leave them just like that, I'll go. In the end of the day, maybe we are fair too. So I think we know how we should do it, mm -hmm. how you're going to help us. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Pastor Philip? Exactly what she said is uh, okay. I know it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Just like as you said, the pastor told you. Yes. You know, when God called you into the ministry, you must have to put the work of God first. Yeah. You forget about your family. Mm -hmm. If you know that God really called you in the ministry, you just focus your mind, your attention in the work of God. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing. Because when God saw that you love his work more than your own work, God will now begin to, you know, help you in every area of your life. But when you first and foremost put your own problem first, then abandon the work of God. I don't think that God will be happy with that person. So for me, whatever we are doing, I put the God of the work of God first. Okay. Then after that, and I think about my family because if you work for God, God will be working for your family and working for you also. Mm -hmm. So number one work is to serve God. Just like I said, Ecclesiastes said, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, mm -hmm. 11, 12 and 13 say, mm -hmm. The whole duty of a man 
here on earth is to serve God. So that is the main reason why we are created. You must have to serve God first. Forget about money. Forget about whether food or clothes. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, put God first in anything you are doing in life. Mm -hmm. So that when God saw that, yes, you are doing well, He will now know how to carry you up and bless you. Why do you follow her around everywhere she goes? You must be a very jealous man, Mr. Pastor Philip. Uh, well, I'm not a jealous man. At times you, you do, you can't let her out like, of like the one, she traveled to Cameroon just about uh, three weeks or two weeks ago. I yeah. didn't go with her. <laughs> she understand. So some people cannot be able to affor uh, 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 afford their ticket yeah. money. Yeah. So I can tell her to go alone yeah. while I will stay along with my children. Okay. So I'm not a jealous man. Anybody can <laughs> invite her. <laughs> Anybody can invite her. Evangelist Agatha, what do you think? Is this saying the truth? You're saying the truth. You know that? Only as I said, that almost African country I've been visiting yes. is going with me. If like this, uh, Zambia, own, the man I, I was telling him that he must come, the man was shouting, Ticket, tickets, it's not easy to buy, buy international artists. This, that I said, I'm going to buy tickets, but if you're not buying tickets for him, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. So, the man, the man, have to buy. So, you're the one who insists that he should come along, yes, I yeah. should travel with me. So, the only this thing, only thing is. This man that invited me in Cameroon, we have known almost eight years back. That is our father and law that they have been programmed. Steve Cran was there from Nigeria, this one from Abidjan, other artists. So you cannot afford the tickets. I have to go. It's only three days. I have to go. And even I even put my own money to say that I make up that program yeah. to come. Fantastic. So. And that's how we wind up our chat today in Cruise 5, where we've been speaking to Evangelist Agatha Moses Philip. And we were also joined by her husband, Pastor Philip Nobodo. Uh, it's been great uh, talking to you. Uh, and you have done many songs, but I'm wondering what song I can do with you. Um, <sighs> lift Jesus higher. What, what, how, how do you sing that song? We lift your name higher. Ah. We lift your name ah. higher. We lift your, your name higher. Fantastic. See, I'm going to join them very soon. Yeah, you have a nice voice. I've you. got a nice voice. <laughs> she said, fantastic. And that's how we wind up. Until next time, it's goodbye.